Hello everyone, my name is Prerna and I am from the Cisco CUCM team sitting out in Bangalore and today we will be discussing as to how can we register a third party phone with the Cisco call manager. So it is a four step procedure as far as the CUCM configuration is concerned. The first step is to add the security profile. The second step is to add the end user. The third step is to add the SIP phone. And finally, we have to edit the user. From the point of view of the third party phone, we have to then configure it so that it can contact the call manager. So let's get started now. Let's log on to our call manager. The first step is to create the SIP security profile. So for doing that, we'll navigate to system. Then we'll go down to security and then we'll come to phone security profile. Here we'll just search with the name third. And in the drop down, like let's say we do a contains and then we do a find. So let us just create a copy of this profile. And let us rename something. And then we can give the same here. Then we'll click on enable digest authentication and then finally we do a save. The second step is to add a end user. So for that we'll just go to user management and then we'll go down to end user. There, we'll just create a new user. We can give the you any username that we want. Let's give the user ID as as tag. This will not this will be used by the third party. Then let us give some password to it. Then we'll just do a confirm password. Set a pin here for this user. Confirm the pin and let's give the last name also as tag. There's an option of digest credentials down here. This will be used by the third party phone. So just remember what you're setting here. And then we have to click on save. Okay, I forgot to add the confirm. I'll do that. And then we just click on save. The third step is to add the phone. So we'll just go to device and phone. We'll create a new phone. So we created as a third party SIP device basic phone. Click on next. Just give the MAC address. It can be anything. So let us give us Select some device pool for it, a phone phone button template. And then we have to give the user ID. So let's give the user ID as tag, the one that we created now. And then we have to scroll down and we'll be able to see the device security profile. So this is the one that we just created. So this is the profile that I had created. Let us give it a standard SIP profile and then we have to click on save. Let's add a DN. Let us give it the DN1234. Then we do a save. Then 
just click on apply config and then the last step is to go to the end user that we just created this is the user that we created here in we have to go down and in the control devices we have to add our phone the one that we just created so this is the one and we have to do save select changes and that's it so this is there in the control devices that's it from the call manager configuration now we'll be uh, covering the configuration for the third party phone so uh, uh, just click on the preferences tab in the accounts I have already added this account just give the user ID as the directory number that you want on the phone the domain has to be the IP address of the call manager password that you had set uh, in the configuration in the, of the end user this is the uh, name that we created like the, the user that we created and the display name can be anything so just for easiness we I have given one two three four uh, that's it so just click on ok and if we go on and check the, uh, the status on the call manager so the phone shows registered so this is how we register a third party phone so this is for call manager thank you